All right, welcome back. Ariana Moyer is joining us now. We've got a lot to cover here in this segment as we're talking March Madness and so much more. Yeah, so for our trend, we're going to talk about Cochrane Jersey Mics and Eclipse, of course. But before we get to that, it's March Madness. And so, Ethan, this is your bracket here. What are, what are your top four? Explain your picks here. Sure, my, my final four picks here. UConn, defending champs, and has played really, really well. I have them actually winning it all okay. uh, this year. I'm not thrilled about that. I'm not a UConn <laughs> guy, but I, th I think that they're probably the best and team in college last basketball. Year, right? You're right. UNC has looked really good throughout the year, and coming yes. out of the ACC, you know that they're battle-tested. <laughs> Kentucky has come on late, big time. So, yes, a three seed, but their recent play, I think, suggests that they're better than that. And watch, all of them are going to get bounced in the first round. That's my luck. <laughs> and then Gonzaga, a lower seed than usual, not the team it usually is. That's probably a sentimental pick on my part. They're okay. always the bridesmaid, never the bride. They've never won it. Two championship game appearances, a couple of Final Fours, countless Elite Eights, and can never get over the hump. So I have them in the Maybe final against UConn, the but I have them losing to UConn. Interesting. Um, and, and I'm not even sure they'll actually get that. So these seem well-informed. If you want to see more well-informed picks, head to the CW tonight for the Critical Eye. Isaac Petcash and John Leidick are going to discuss their bracket picks. But now we're going to talk about mine. I also have UConn and UNC and my top four. Are these informed picks? No. I just look at the little <laughs> numbers, and then I pick them. And if I like you or I have a bias against the school, then I might not pick you to win. Uh, we have Duke and Tennessee over here. I almost went to the University of Tennessee. I went to Virginia Tech, go Hokies. So I have Tennessee and North Carolina duking it out in the end. Again, not a lot of thought here, just kind of pretty colors, and that's that's my thought process. And watch, she'll there. have the best bracket of all of it. I'm hoping so. In the past, haven't been lucky. And now, Eva, this is your bracket. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, there's always a Cinderella story, and I love those stories. <laughs> yes, Creighton. Uh, you I've can never see... heard of them. Oh my oh, goodness, in Nebraska. They've been they've been really good they've for about a, the last eight ten years. Good pretty good basketball yeah. program. Yeah. Um, so uh, UConn, Kentucky, Baylor, Creighton uh, going to the final four uh, I really think you know I was kind of going back and forth between Kentucky uh, you know should I put them a little bit further yeah. but no and I think I'm gonna go with Baylor honestly um, taking all right. it all in uh, the championship so we shall see you know it, it'll be interesting to see you know uh, some of these schools over here too yeah. uh, but go Akron Zips alum <laughs> of Akron a and, lot of folks uh, rooting in our area yeah. for Duke hoping that 14th well. seed can get them a little bit yes, further the, I want James Madison to do okay. Well, but I don't think they will. But one thing we agree on is UConn is going to be in that top four, it seems I hope like. not. Let's hope we're all wrong Your on that. Your bracket's going to be busted. <laughs> That's fine. Duquesne hasn't been in in 47 <laughs> years. I wouldn't mind if they made a run either. By the way, the spot to watch all the important games, WSCE, our sister of state. Of course. Right. March Madness. All right.